Japan's devastating surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941, launched the United States into full-blown total war with Japan, Germany, and Italy. Our civilian economy was transformed from civilian to wartime production, it seemed, overnight. Tens of thousands of young men enlisted or were drafted into uniform to fight the war. This left millions of jobs unfilled, and women came to factories all across industry to make guns, planes, ships, trucks, ammunition, and every other conceivable product to win the war. Nearly 19 million women were in America's wartime workforce, three million of them for their first time away from home responsibilities. Norman Rockwell's Saturday Evening Post cover featuring Rosie the Riveter was plastered all over the country, honoring women in America's fight. On the street, in the home, in a crowd or alone, shout wherever you may be. I am an American. I'm proud of my liberty. And we needed pilots for combat, tens of thousands of them. All of those would be young men, so female pilots jumped in to fill that void. In September 1942, two women's pilot organizations formed separately, the WFTD, Women's Flying Training Detachment, and the WAFs, Women's Auxiliary Ferrying Squadron. Well, in August 1943, those two were merged to create the WASP organization, Women's Air Force Service Pilots. General Hap Arnold, Chief of the Air Corps, selected the great female aviator Jackie Cochran to head up the WASPs. 25,000 women applied, 1,074 were accepted, all of them had prior flying experience and pilot's licenses. WASPs flew over 60 million air miles in every type of military aircraft. Our country is in their debt, and today we honor these great patriot aviators. <laughs>